Welcome to Great Chefs of the Caribbean, featuring the New World cuisine from some of the island's finest chefs. This time from Nevis, Martin Frost. From Jamaica, Norma Shirley. And from St. John, Andrew Comey. Shirley presents the entree from her famed wharf house overlooking Montego Bay in Jamaica. She has come to personify the cooking of not only Jamaica, but the whole of the Caribbean. This time she draws on the archetypal source called blaf, seafood poached in liquid, in this instance, red snapper. For the entree, we're going to be doing a wonderful red snapper. It's been filet already, and we're going to do it in um, nice slices. Now people say that the, the, the um, red snapper that comes out of uh, the Caribbean Sea it has a different flavor com completely from that comes up in North America and I, I, I tend to believe that. If you see that the flesh is nice and firm and the skin is a nice, we have different type of snapper. We have red snapper, yellow snapper, black snapper, white snapper, different colors depending on the color of the snapper. And what we're going to be doing with the snapper here, we're going to be doing it like in a bath, like the French do a bouillabaisse. base. We're just, just a simple bath. This is very Jamaican, a very Jamaican dish, very popular, especially um, at Lent, in Easter time, a lot of people go off red meat and we're very much into fish. And of course, needless to say, the people who are into fish make a lot of money because they, the prices go up. So what we're going to be doing now is just literally poaching this in a beautiful bath of wonderful herbs, thyme and scallion and chochas and chayotes, or we call chochas chayotes, and some people call it Christophine. The Trinidadians call it Christophine, and scallions and onions, and of course, scotch bonnet pepper. Don't leave him out. The poaching liquid starts with butter and fish stock. Pour it all over there. And there, and that's the fish stock. And to this, we're going to add some onions, some parsley. And some, and we do, we, we're very generous. We're very generous with the herbs. Parsley. Some tomatoes. Make up some more stock. This is crazy. I don't know a word like that. Okay, some thyme, some fresh thyme. And we just put this, we just put a sprig in. We don't take the leaves off. We'll just drop a sprig in of thyme. And some nice, nice big chunk of, 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 of scallion, which we can, and we're going to put the whole thing into into this bath that we're doing. We could add a little bit more fish stock to it. More. And when this boils up now, we're going to add this bit of fish to it. And we're going to poach this in this wonderful sort of broth that we have here. Okay. We place it face down. And we, what we just do, we're going to just keep basing it the whole time, all right? The fiery scotch bonnet pepper will go in later. And scotch bonnet comes in yellow and in green. They're doing a sort of purpley color one, but basically what we know are the yellow and green scotch bonnet. And do you know why it's called scotch bonnet? It's called scotch bonnet because it has a, the, it, the, fr the fruit or the vegetable, whatever we want to call it, looks like a, a bonnet of the Scottish people. So it's called scotch bonnet because they look like little bonnets. So we put the scotch bonnet in whole. Make sure it hasn't had any, it's not any soft spot because if it bursts in there, that's the end of your dish unless, you know, you're, you're really going to be eating with fire coming out of your mouth. Okay, and we've turned it over and he's going to baste the other side now. And it's nearly ready. And that takes roughly about, I would say, four, four minutes, four or five minutes max. And of course, it depends on the thickness of the fish. Some fi this is a really nice, large fish. Some fish are much thinner than this. They would be cooked already. And so you just have to test. And you test by just pressing your finger down on it. And this still has a little more of, of cooking to do. 
And what we're going to do now, we're going to plate this because what I want to do is I want to make this into, as I said, I'm trying to do new world cuisine, so I'm really trying to copy from everybody else. And like the bouillabaisse, we want to put some shrimp on top and make it a really nice seafood extravaganza, shall we say, okay? And all the goodies, we put all the goodies with it. That's quite okay, because that's nice for it. If I wish you were here, you could literally smell the scotch bonnet. And we're going to add the shrimp to it. We're just going to add that and just turn that over, and that's going to decorate with it. We're going to leave some of the sauce. So it's really like you could spoon it up. And we just serve, we just serve this with just vegetables. So it's a wonderful, healthy dish. Very little calories, lots of protein. That's doing really nicely. And the shrimp, we didn't, if you notice, we didn't cook the shrimp with the fish because the shrimp is a much shorter time. And if we had taken them out, they would have gotten rubbery while your fish is cooking. So we do that at the last minute, okay. And these dishes can be cooked in, in, in a small amount of time. We're just going to arrange these on top. We kept the heads on because they're decorative. If you don't want the heads on, that's okay. We love heads. Jamaicans love heads. Good. And then we, what we're going to do is just, we're going to take the time out. And we've heated everything. And I'll just finish the dish. And we're just going to put the scallion, just for decoration, on top. Now, if we're serving this to a Jamaican, see, we would leave the scotch bonnet pepper in, because he may slice it and eat it as he's eating his fish. We'll just leave it in for decoration, not that you have to eat it. Vegetables finish the plate. Okay, and we just take it out of this strainer that we have done it in there. There we have. And also, what I put on, on top, also Jamaicans love, are chayotes, which we have made very, very fine. Very, very fine on top. So you see, this is a meal unto itself. And for little color, we add a little carrots. And there you are.